In this video, I'm going to add a variable. Variables are actually a pretty simple uh, concept, but they can be used in a very large range of ways. And they can be used very creatively too, so it's a very cool thing to use in your project. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how to make one. So you first click on make a variable, and then just put in a variable name. And right now I'm just naming mine scene one. You can name a variable, whatever your ultimate purpose for it is going to be. Uh, I want to, with this variable, it's basically an item and it can track a, a number within it. It can hold a value. So what I want to happen here is I have a lightning sprite currently that repeats three times and disappears. I want it so that, um, if a user is searching for this little door highlight, a door sprite that's highlighted in the bottom right corner, I want it so that the entire time they're searching for it, lightning appears, disappears. Not just three times repeated, but continuously until that door is clicked, and then I want it to stop. In order to do something like that, you have to use a variable. And the way to do that is on the door sprite, first of all, we're going to put in an action that happens when it's clicked. So when the door is clicked, currently it broadcasts a message, stop everything. So one of the things we can do is in the control menu, there is a block here that's when I receive the stop everything message, we can change our variable value uh, by one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say set variable to one uh, just because that way, you know, if it's clicked multiple times the door, it won't go up to two, three, etc. And that way, when we click over the lightning, now this is one thing that's kind of cool. Instead of repeating it three times, I'm going to get rid of that three repeat block. And in the control menu, there's another block here, which is repeat until. And when you put in repeat until, now this is going to be going basically forever until some value that I enter here. And this is the cool part is that I'm going to enter in a value. So in our little uh, variable math section here, there's a not block. And this is where if we go back to the variable, we can say, whoops, I want to grab one more. Um, we can repeat the lightning appearing, playing the sound, until our variable scene one does not equal zero. So initially when we start the script, our scene has a value of zero, but when we click the door, the value changes to one. And that'll mean that the script will stop here with the lightning. So if I click it, now we're running the script, we have lightning appearing, playing the sound, and instead of just appearing that three times, it'll just continue as long as someone does not click on this door. But as soon as they do click on the door, our script is stopped. So very cool effect, and you can also notice that our variable is now changed to that value that we've set one. So you can do a lot of really cool things with holding that value within a variable. Now, one other thing to note here, right now my variable is appearing on the screen. Uh, this value, while I'm using it in my scripts and programs, it's not necessary for the user to see it. So if you go over in the variable menu, you'll notice there's a checkbox here. If I check the checkbox, it now removes it from view so that the user doesn't see it. It doesn't delete it, simply just toggles it on and off from view. So uh, that's variables.